Hey guys, in this video I am showing you where to find the best early staffs, sorceries and sorcery instructors in Elden Ring so you can blast more people with just blue stuff. You can get everything you're about to see right near the start of the game, meaning you can finally stop spamming the same spell over and over because that gets really boring. First off, I'll show you where to find some great early staffs. The best one, in my opinion, is the Digger Staff. It does the most damage and it's ridiculously easy to get. All you have to do is go to this cave. It's called the Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel. Once there, it's just a case of killing the enemies inside and one of them will drop the Digger Staff. I was really lucky here and got it from literally the first enemy I found, but what I did do is use an item that boosts item discovery. So I recommend using that item, which is called a Silver Pickled Foulfoot, before trying to get the Digger Staff. The next staff is around the same place, just east of the Ray Lucaria Crystal Tunnel, and this location is called the Carrion Study Hall. Uh, the staff inside is the Carrion Glinstone Staff. It's not quite as good as the Digger Staff in my opinion, but hey, you might as well get it because it's free. Don't waste time fighting all the enemies in here if you don't want to. Uh, there's a pretty powerful mage and also just dozens of enemies. Uh, so what I do is run straight past and up the stairs and you'll find the staff right there. The last staff is the Demi-Human Queen Staff and you can find this in the Weeping Peninsula which is another early uh, beginning area. At the south of the map is where you can find the Weeping Peninsula and there's a big witch enemy in some ruins here. So just kill her and take the staff. It's quite a tough fight, there are quite a few enemies here, but you shouldn't have too much trouble. This is, uh, as I say, an early area. Um, and she drops, as well as the Demi-Human Queen Staff, she drops a Crystal Burst spell. It's not a great spell, the damage is pretty low, but I'll take that and just never use it again. Okay, so those were three great early staffs to get. Now we need the spells to use them with. So I'll show you the location of three spell merchants in the game, or sorcery instructors in other words. The first is at the Waypoint Ruins. Head past the Poison Flowers and into the dungeon where you'll find a mad pumpkin head miniboss, so named because of the pumpkin on his head. He's waiting just behind the fog door, so head through there and uh, start the fight. It can be pretty challenging if you've only just started out this guy, but he shouldn't be too hard once you learn his attack pattern. He hasn't got too many attacks uh, to learn. Once this guy's dead, open the door and you'll find Sorceress Selen. Who sells the best spells you can get early on? These spells are pretty decent. The next spell merchant is in the round table hold. This is Sorcerer Rogier. He's more into Ashes of War, which can be can be alright. Not as good as uh, straightforward spells, but Ashes of War, they've got some nice uh, unique effects. For instance, I've got one that makes my staff spin around. And the final spell merchant is Thops, who lies in the Church of Irith which is here. As a bonus, you can pick up a Sacred Tear at the Shrine, which you can use to upgrade your flasks. Now, you can kill Thops for a Glinstone Staff, but there's another way to get the Staff if you don't want to kill him, and for that, it's, uh, well, this is what you do. Once you've got the Glinstone Key from the Dragon West of Rey Lucaria Academy, go back to Thops and try and give him the key. This changes his location to the Academy, uh, where you can loot a Glinstone Staff off his dead body as well as a bell bearing and a barrier spell. Personally, I like the starlight spell that he sells, uh, which illuminates dark places, which means you don't have to run around holding a big flaming torch. It does help if you've got more spell slots so you can actually uh, have the starlight spell. You do start out with two, but to increase it to three, it's not that difficult at all. You could just buy a memory stone from the twin maiden husks in the round table hold, and you can buy a memory stone for 3,000 runes. Speaking of spells, here are the best three in my opinion. So my loadout in my uh, three memory slots. First we've got the Great Glinstone Shard. This fires a bolt of magic and I just like it because it's powerful and straightforward. This is my go-to attack. Second is the Glinstone Arc, which is great for taking out groups. This is especially effective in dungeons where there's not really a lot of space for the enemies uh, to spread out. And third is the Carrion Slicer, which is a great close range 
magic attack. And it doesn't take up much FP either. Uh, it's also got quite a uh, high rate of, uh, of fire, I guess. You can keep slicing over and over. It's quite quick, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's my typical loadout, but all magic has its uses in Elden Ring. So here are some more you might find useful. The Ambush Shard is great against armored enemies as it actually fires a bolt from behind, so you can get right around shields. <laughs> Next, the Crystal Barrage is the most damaging spell you can get early, so that's good, but it eats a ton of FP, and as a downside, the casting time is quite long since you have to hold the button down while casting. But still, you will do a lot of damage to bosses with the Crystal Barrage. <laughs> After that, we have the Glyn Blade Phalanx, which surrounds you with five hovering daggers. These automatically attack any enemy in range, making it a great defensive spell. When these daggers hit at the same time as another one of your attacks, for instance, let's say like a Glynstone Shard or something, you can stagger an enemy, which is great. So those were three more spells you could potentially use. And as for where to find more, here are a few you can get. Uh, it's not an exhaustive list of every spell in the game, but you can get these spells early on. One is in Stormvale Castle's basement. From the lift side chamber, drop down and fight through the rats. Just beyond them, you'll find a scarab beetle and killing it gets you the sorcery of the Servants of Death. Keep in mind that this spell does take 15 faith to use, uh, which I can't use because my faith is not high enough, so I can't even show you what it looks like. But if you did want a free spell there, try Stormvale Castle. <laughs> Another spell is in the graveyard near the Church of Irith. It's in the form of a scroll, so bring this scroll to Sorcerer Selin and it'll add the spell to their shop. It adds the Great Glinstone Shard and the Swift Glinstone Shard. <laughs> So guys, that was where to find three great staffs, three sorcery instructors, and a, a bunch of spells you can use them with. Thanks for watching the video, and if you found it useful, remember to drop a like. I would massively appreciate that. For more Elden Ring guys, subscribe to the channel. See you later.